If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Greetings, young Padawan. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I find your quest for knowledge admirable. But I do not want to overwhelm you with the long history of the Jedi Order. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. This facility is a training act. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need. May the Force be... It is good to see Johnny has returned to the Way of the Light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorak recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the Masters in the Council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals. If there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. 
I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on, how bad could it be? Achuta. Arlen Matali likes to look. The council's been telling us not to go near the stones to the east. Just as well, the calf hounds near there seem a lot. I fear it is only a matter of time. Thank you for exacting my revenge on those Mandalorian beasts. If only I could have been the one to tear out Sharuk's heart. I hear that the Sith tortured you.
is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? The council. If you are here because of Shen Lapalin's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Lapalin witch hunt. You had left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Mira will meet with you there. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. That's quite a line. You actually believe that? Don't you think someone is allowed to value privacy? Privacy is all well and good, but justice must be valued higher. Is it not obvious to you that this man hides something? Actually, it is. All I'm saying is that not everyone welcomes the sight of a Jedi with open arms. Better get used to it. I trust you will show yourself out? If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? My name is Raheja. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cap. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. You must understand that Father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Metales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. You don't think that perhaps there's more to look at here, do you? That maybe everything isn't what it appears? Of course not. It seems very simple to me. The Council must be allowed to decide the next step. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Alan Matale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Please, find Shen and rescue- There are many security droids- Shen and I, we- Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other, just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father, and- And Shen was so charming, so sweet. He didn't care at all that I was a Sandral. He just accepted me for who I was, with no reservations. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. 
My brother Cassus met him too, and they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. No problem. Didn't work. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? Rescue me. No, I won't leave. It's too dangerous. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandral doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. My father thinks the Sandrals are thieves and liars who followed him here to Dantooine just to steal what he has earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares for me. Rahasia's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. I think the only hope Rahasia and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Rahasia and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me.
What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. I'm here. Sure. No problem. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia! Oh, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. No, we know that you must have gone to great personal risk to get us out of the Sandral State undetected. But surely we can... There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandral! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing. I knew you had captured my son. You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. Please listen to him, Father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! Our children don't know enough of what's good for them to make a reasonable decision. It's better to let older, wiser heads like ours make the decisions. Rahasia and I don't want you to make decisions for us. We want to live alone away from you. You! You insolent boy! If you want to live alone, then so be it. I disown you. Never set foot in my house again. I don't care. Rahasia and I will live on our own if you won't accept us. You will do no such thing. I am your father, and I order you to come back with me. No, father, I won't. Rahasia, you will not leave with this... This Matale boy! I am, Father, and you can't stop me! We're leaving for the Enclave! You foolish girl! You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them! You will not turn your droids on my daughter! Droids, don't let them take Rahasia! We appear to be at an impasse then, and they got away! It is your fault, Alan! You were always too violent for your own good. Me? You were the one who rushed out here with war droids. I will not rest until I have my Shen back. The Council will hear of the troubles you caused, Jedi. Indeed they shall. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. How can I help? It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. 
Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave her a trace. They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. Maybe simply that we are sensitive to that event, or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a mere physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will. And perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. I, I don't know. Believe me. I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Please, forgive me. I did not mean to imply that you were repulsive in any sense of the word. That we shared something so personal is just not something I'm used to. What would you like to know? I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. As you wish. We really should return our thoughts to business anyway. done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned, Juhani, to the Order. For this, you deserve the highest praise. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. I'm sorry we have nothing of value to give you as a reward. Our families have cut us off completely. Had the Council not taken us in, we would be foraging in the wilderness to survive. When I first met Shen, I feared our forbidden love was doomed to a tragic end. But thanks to you and the Jedi Council, our story ends in joy. Raheji and I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. Now we will finally have a place to share our love, without fear of reprisals from our families. Rahasia and I can spend the rest of our lives together, all thanks to you. I wish you the best of luck, Shen. I hope you two find the happiness I once knew myself. Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. Oh, it's just so good to have him back. We're just gonna go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't we, my lovely little droid? Don't worry. I'm gonna hug you, and oil you, and care for you, and make sure you never get away ever again. Please kill me. I don't think I ever felt so bad for a droid before.
Grahasia Sundral and Shen Matali have come here seeking shelter against their families. The Council has decided to give it to them. Their love for each other was being denied by overly possessive parents, and we learned that it was only by your intervention that they managed to escape here. While it is regrettable that the fences between the families were not repaired, it is good that these two young lovers can live their lives free of oppression. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. <laughs> I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? <laughs> It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. <laughs> Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. There must be some mistake. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Get the dwarf and get 
The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. In fact, it could... Our vision was clear. We saw Revan and Malak. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest. We have to find out what they uncovered. Thank <laughs> you. 
We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves, but we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I, I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashyyyk, and Tatooine, and here's Manan. There are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malak visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge. And some way to destroy it. That sounds like quite a supposition. What if you're wrong? What if I'm right? We can't ignore this. Finding the Starforge might very well be the key to defeating the Sith. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. Exactly. 
I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Don't worry, these are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Good. On which planet were you born? Excellent. Your current age is? Yes. Well, the truth is I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Yes, what's on your mind? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. That is none of your concern, Karth. And you would do well to leave the matter be. I respect you, Bastila, but you've been as closed-mouthed as the rest of the Council. If you won't talk to me, then maybe somebody else will. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they, don't they have to train you? A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. And what does that mean? Well, is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking about? Well, that can't be it. Well, I'll tell you this much, I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. Discipline to betray my emotions with outward physical displays. We both know the real reason you have some idea of what I'm thinking, the bond we share. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you were so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I feel that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. 
This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. There's great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. I believe you truly mean what you say, for now, but sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Yes, what's on your mind? You... How can I help? Can I... that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan. You have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine. Manan and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you. A safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. 
The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. ちこんいたほどんがいきんもちしゃくばかったきえのの。ロンダディホトンガくん。たこんじゅうスタッフミキーグラブルモゴ。カチチュイタボドンガ。トンハイトンジジジョンブルンパ。ニタポエティキト。
How can I help? Then I suggest we move. How can I help? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. True, I suppose. And yet the outcome of that battle was unexpected. To all of us, Revan's end was unforeseen. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before, in the Grove. It was wrong of me. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes, and in my own. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me. Even though I try to take your life, I can only hope that in our time journeying together, I will succeed.